Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so that you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put around you today. So I was pressure washing my uh, house the other day. There was I was just going to do the garage. It had like a bit of algae growing on the outside, and I just wanted it gone. And we had this pressure washer in the uh, inside the garage, so I pulled it out. And I got rid of the green real fast. But the problem is I made the garage door look so nice that like everything next to it looked like it, needed, it looked dirty all of a sudden. And it looked like it needed to get cleaned. And, you know, so often I find that I clean one thing and then everything next to it looks so dirty in comparison. So then I end up spending the whole darn day um, cleaning when all I meant to do was just clean one thing. So anyway, as I embarked on my, what I thought was going to be a 15 minute task that turned out to be a five hour task, I got to thinking about how, um, how God really stops at nothing to eventually make us holy, right? If we're his and we're Christian people, he calls us to be holy, which in itself is just this incredibly daunting idea um, and task, but he calls us to be holy. And he doesn't mean, well, um, some of you can be holy and the rest of you, you know, aren't going to be like he, he says, this is, this is what his requirement is. And this is how he calls us to act. And then he enables us to do that through his Holy Spirit. But sometimes I just think to myself, there is so much he has to overcome in making me a holy person. (laughs) You know, I feel like he's, you know, with the pressure washer, um, washing over my life, just sin after sin after sin, because, um, every time he cleans up one act of my life, another one seems to kind of pop out. But anyway, this whole process of, um, him working in our lives to make us holy is got this fancy name called sanctification, but, um, but it's really just the process of pressure washing the sin out of our lives. Um, So 1 Peter 1, 15 through 16 reminds us, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all that you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. So I just pray that as you give your day, your moments over to the Lord, as you surrender to him today, and allow him to do what his Holy Spirit does, or as my mom says, let you got to let Jesus out. (laughs) Um, So I pray that you would let Jesus out today as you go out or stay in today and be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.